We're sisters, sisters and, and together, together we're crumbs. We both like cooking and, and we, we love food and chocolate and red wine. Spooky, spooky Halloween. It's nearly Halloween and all the kids go out trick or treating and the way you know if you can knock on someone's door and ask them for some treats, because let's face it, no one really gets tricks these days, is if you have a jack-o'-lantern in your window. Um, I've been making them for the last three or four years it's great fun, it's very easy, and let me show you what I do. The bigger the pumpkin, although it might look daunting, actually it's easier to scoop out than a smaller one because the fleshes are normally a bit softer. Now what I always do is I just make a very faint circle with a pen and then I'm going to cut around that. I bought a pumpkin carving set. This is like a puncturer, so what you do is you puncture around Oh, that's clever. And that means when you carve, you can just go from point to point as opposed to having to do it all, all the way around. And it's like a guide. This one's going to be a jack o' lantern. This one is going to be a very small, either wine cooler or beer keg for our Halloween party. <laughs> for our children. So actually, really. yeah, I think we just want to go halfway around. Okay. You have to be quite careful because you yeah, still I want to keep use. this um, the lid. And a good way of making sure that it sits atop the pumpkin properly and doesn't fall through is if you kind of slightly angle it. And that way the lid will sit snugly. So here goes. I'm not actually a huge fan of pumpkin. I know in America they do lots of amazing stuff like pumpkin puree and pumpkin, pumpkin pie. pie. But we don't really cook with pumpkin that much here, do we? No, pumpkin it's seeds. Quite American. You have to make the hole large enough so you can get your hand through. Otherwise it's gonna be quite difficult to scoop out the flesh. And you have to scoop out the flesh so you've got a nice hollow inside so it looks all spooky when you put your candle inside. But you also have to, otherwise it will rot. One year I decided to be a bit lazy and there was a fetid smell in the kitchen. And I realised it was that. my... Uh, yeah, pumpkin. just the mould. I've done the perforations now, I'm just going to take the top off. I've gone in for the big knife because that one hasn't quite loosened it out as much as I want. Here she comes. Oh, she's a beauty. Yay! To get those first really big bits out, I'm just going to use a ladle. This is great. I much prefer it to use a knife. knife. You don't have to be as precise as for this one, because this one you have to make it a bit thinner so you can cut through it. I have to say, this is brilliant. This is worth the £2.99 you're paying. Yeah. It really scoops everything out. Ooh. Sound effects are pretty impressive. And now I'm just going to get rid of all the scubbins here, but I have to make sure that I don't take too much off so it still sits on here. Right, I've done mine. Okay. There we go. So it still fits. Lovely. So we'll save that off and put it over there for later. So you've got to choose the nicest bit of the pumpkin to write on. Uh, I'm going to do two big triangular eyes. The beauty of it is it doesn't matter if it's a bit wonky because it's supposed to be gap toothed and scary and wonky, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, so I've got the two eyes. What kind of nose do you want? A round nose or another triangle? Triangle. Triangles are quite good. They're quite easy. And they're quite effective as well. In fact, this is actually turning out to be diamonds. There we go. Perfect. Lovely. Uh, now I'm going to do that puncturing thing again. <sighs> One. The flesh should be about a centimetre deep. And this actually inside is a little bit thicker. So it just makes it a tiny bit harder to cut. Start on the nose. So have you already perforated that? Or yeah. Are you Slightly pointy nose. Right, now I'm going to push it through. Yeah. Push. Oh, there we go. Last tooth coming out. There we go. This is a brilliant thing I've got in America. It's actually motion activated. and it's, it didn't take too long. No, that's great. Onto the right. ice. I'm going to put the ice in the impromptu ice bucket. If you have a bigger, a bigger pumpkin, this would work really well, but this is all that my local budgins had to offer. There we go, a little ice bucket. You can also, if you wanted to, um, put flowers in it and make it into a little vase. Cut them off and make them into a little arrangement. We prefer beer. What yeah. do you do with your pumpkins? What's the worst face you've ever put on your jack-o'-lantern? What do you do with your pumpkin flesh and seeds? Do you eat it or do you just chuck, chuck it, in, it the in the bin? bin. Uh, anyway, give us a thumbs up if you like us, subscribe. Tweet, crumbs food. Oh, and help or... us name, help us name him. We want, oh, uh, <laughs> we want to give him or her a name. Perhaps a teacher you really hated at school, your boss, your husband if he's in your bad books, we want to know. <laughs> this jack-o'-lantern needs a name. 
we're sisters, sisters and, and together, together we're crumbs. We both like cooking and, and we, we love, love food and chocolate and red wine. <laughs>